All right. Good morning. Um, so getting back into this game, it is part three of the stream of playing Tell Me Why. Um, so yesterday, um, finished up, well, got to a second save point than what I was actually going to do. Um, and then, yeah, so we can get into it once I reorganize all my stuff, because everything is everywhere. All right. Continue. Looking to kick you out now. No rest for the wicked, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, and I'm as wicked as it gets. I'll see. All right, so audio seems to want to cut out a little bit, um, but that's fine. Well, that went better than I was afraid it would. Um, not exactly sure what I need to do now. What happened? Hey. Yeah. Hold on. Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can shit. you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we going to do about Tessa? Nothing. Look. That's enough. What are you looking at? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh, my God. Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Where is everybody? Tessa's got... I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. I stopped to take a leak just as I was finishing up there, see? A big old bolt was staring me down. Well, what will I do? Then I grab my arm and take it to the front and say to myself, Got it. Come in! got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I, I should be on my way over soon. Hello, Tyler. Uh, can I help you? Not exactly sure what I'm supposed to be looking for. 
Hey, Yoshi. Time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe. Actually, uh, well, we were over everybody. at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely, but I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. So, since there's a break in dialogue, um, what some of y'all might have missed yesterday is I just kind of went through all the, uh, police boxes, um, did that, got the, um, story behind, um, Tessa reporting, uh, Marianne to child services, obviously, because it was just mentioned, um, but get that story, um, and then now I'm here looking for Tessa for more information. And, um, yeah, I think you're all caught up now. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two to make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? I can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so don't be late. Uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who our father might have been? I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I I'm sorry. I really have to go. Michael, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Hey, yeah, sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery uh, visiting her parents. Oh. What, baby? Tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? You don't need a chocolate bar. I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm going to start working in the storage room. Buddy. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. You want a muffin? Okay. Uh, we're gonna pause here. I gotta go deal with the child, and I will be 
right back. Give me a couple minutes. All right, I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the bag. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? I'm clowning. I don't even know where to begin. What do I do? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, all right? Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Why am I standing here looking at this? Hold on, let me count this. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay, sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. And where are they at exactly? I thought you had this in the bag. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Tessa puts the heavy stuff near the door, 
on the bottom shelves. All right, I think I can work with that. Six. All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on, look at the hair. Nailed it, right? Uh, there might be a little room for improvement. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, I just said a little. That means it's mostly good. Man, I pour my heart out into this, and this is what I get? Cold, Tyler. Ice cold. So, this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. All right, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Okay. So... Uh, you've got about 11 left in that box. Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ouch, what the fuck? Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. You have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. Damn it. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? We'll see. Gotcha. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. I'm gonna tell Allison you said that. Uh, she's usually stuck in the office. Besides, your sister, while a hottie, isn't my type. Boom. 
Oh. <laughs> Man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. Okay. I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here. Let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah. All right. Cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah. That's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. And for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages. But he is very, very hot. Shit. Yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah. He's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah. Yep. I see it. Is that the mangy muskrat? Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you. World-renowned marinade, huh? What's in it? A magician never reveals his secrets. Is this Chief Brown? Yeah. Are you guys related or? Nah, but same clan. So what's your take on him? He's a pretty alright guy, all things considered. All things considered? Like, with him being a cop and all. I mean, it, it's good to see someone from the clan getting shit done. And he really cares about the community. We need someone like him on top. And I'm done. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? The Allison's. Well, our mother never actually told I... us, but so. I but just so realized I was muted because the whole time. I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. My bad. She told me everything about you. Finally, Luckily, I wasn't talking much. Transition. <laughs> I hope that's okay. By the way. Yeah. It's fine. She asked me first. Yeah, what baby? Figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah. Uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty alright. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be. Especially around guys I'm trying to impress. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. Y you have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. They pull me out of the dark more times than I can count. They're hey. probably gonna hook up, honestly. Won't be surprised. Hey, the way this vibe's can I ask going. You a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> honestly, yeah. I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Well, golly gee, Michael, I think you're swell too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, 
Hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. Lovely loading. Here we are. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. And off we go. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries, especially after, you know. I promise after this, we can chill at the house, cool? Um, big crooked tree. So, did you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never There's had a reason to. There's a memory thingy here somewhere. Hopefully. There it is. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot. Sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branching? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. No dice. Not that person. Look, there's Michael. Sound familiar? Yazzie Trucking. He used to haul lumber for the sawmill. Oh, yeah. And he always blasts the horn for us. I don't think I need to read all these uh, gravestones. Lost in the chaos of history. What's that mean? Not sure. But Michael should know. Anything? No, just a whole lot of nothing. Not this one. No luck on my end. You? Nothing. Check these ones. Ben. 
short and simple. I like it. Come on, there's only a handful left. No. Lewis. Wasn't he that fancy fisherman? Yep. Eddie still watches reruns of the show he was on. Every once in a while, his face pops up. It's super weird. Um, open the gate, maybe? No? Okay. Wait up. Michael said it would be close to the crooked tree. When did Michael's uncle die? Last year. It was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. Um, which one didn't I look at? Long time no see. Do you want some company? Saw that one. Allison, you coming? I'll be right there. Well, I better make sure. Saw that one. Yeah. Maybe it's this one. Maybe I walked right by it. De Leon. There That's we go. the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. There's gonna be a memory. Somewhere. Right here. Do we really have to go, Eddie? You can hold my hand if you want. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Can open up the gate. Do you remember where she is? No. And for what it's worth, I remember staring at the water. Uh, Allison, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going. Allison, come back. Well, only a few steps in, and I'm already. <sighs> yeah. And he hoped that this would be easier than last time. Totally gone. At least this time no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see oh. that. Doesn't Hi. hurt to check. I didn't see you there. Might have to go to the totem. You two know each other? Welcome to Delos Crossing. Even the beavers have to shop at the Beckys. Cemetery, anyways. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. Excuse me. They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. But I'm gonna come see. I'll be back. No. 
Oh, jeez, that wasn't soon. Good. All right. I feel like that would be worse. Chief Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay. You'll see. Kids. About to start. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in everything that... You really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> Maybe someday. But not today. Alright, let's... You think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about ten years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. Uh, that one. This spot's familiar. She lost one of her only friends. She was always saying how she never would have found a place in Delos Crossing without Carol. You think her death kicked off Marianne's, you know? It definitely didn't help, but... Ty. This... this is it. Right. Well, uh, which one is it? Yeah. No dice. Why no. can't I remember? There it is. <laughs> I'm still sleepy. I need more sleep. <laughs> that was... Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. I wasn't expecting to see. But what are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? on our graves are all anyone has to remember us by letting hers just fall apart would be cruel I'm not a cruel person cruel enough to call social services on our mother I I, I wanted to protect you Marianne was getting worse all the time I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were then one day we were going to end up dead Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to, to- Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by. And over the years, she brought a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her. And the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. 
She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. Hey, thanks for the raid. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you I'm back doing your mother, good. I would. I don't deserve kinda, your forgiveness. Chilling. Especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. How are you, Peanut? I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man. I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been hated. That's I'm up for good. a fresh That's start good. if you are. But it's not really up to me. Tyler? I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much part. given up on her. But I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. Eh. I had to stop walking. I couldn't. I bet Tessa's thinking the same talk thing. Talk and walk yep. at the same thing. Things are gonna be same real time. awkward my first day back in the office. Oh, I'm sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. Exactly. Awkward as hell. I think we can just leave now. You want to sit down for a bit? Or not? Not a bad... Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen. I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you said Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know? You're the only- Hey. But honestly. Brothers and sisters. Right. But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately, which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in Fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait. Are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... 
I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. Nothing. You've been working on that accounting degree. And your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house. And you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, that's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. Who? Oh. Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? I don't know. Still feels like there's something missing. Right? You're never gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always going to feel that way. There's more dialogue in this game than actually playing, it seems. But you get a good story out of it. <sighs> I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Shit, Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Stay there. I got it. Chicken night, how you doing? What happened? Uh, there, there was a, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. God. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? I don't know. But so I'm to going go to find out. Pry bar. He went looking under the rug? Did he really have to smash everything? God. I need a pry bar. this place upside down. Or a crowbar, whatever the hell you want to call him. Well, at least he left us the junker. This gas can was already here this morning. He didn't bring it with him. Pry bar? Asshole even dumped the drawers. Everything's on the floor. Did I move this thing? Huh. At least.
least you were spared. Collectible. Aha, I found a crowbar, but I don't know if I can pick it up. I'd have to look at this thing again. Hey, come check this out. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Alright, so now I should be able to pick up the pry bar. There we go. <laughs> Guess we know how he made the hole. And remove. Uh, got like ten-ish more minutes Step before back. I have to raid out. Fine. to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, though. So it kind of looks like an eye. Wait. Maybe. Look. It's the same symbol. The Secret Keeper. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers. Um. No numbers. Ah, oh, this is a lot of words. I don't want to read it. <laughs> no, you want to turn to. Just in case I do. And a coin. They were not doing anything obviously bad. First of the goblins said, I want to know more. Da, 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 da. Trying to find numbers. Okay, so that's it with that. Um one coin, two goblins, one hairbrush. That wasn't it. I think uh, we just need to break the lock. There must be something in here we can use to get it open. 
and preferably without destroying the box. Finding anything? Just give me a sec. We wrote a shit ton of stories. Mm, 47. Well, that's about fishing. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so that wouldn't work. Um, four, seven. Brilliant ideas? Knowing Marianne, it's probably connected to the Book of Goblins somehow. I'm just guessing at this oh. point. Any brilliant ideas? Knowing Marianne. Yes, I know it's something to do with the book, but I don't know. Um, that's a lot of words. That and I can just read it on the pages. Probably connected to the Book of Goblins somehow. Uh, maybe I can find bolt cutters. Let's check over here. Any bolt cutters? Wire cutters might work. Yeah, that'll break a lock. Do 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 do. Let's not waste time. Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. That's a lot of words. I need to see you again. I know that so how that sounds and I don't want you to think I chase after all the new girls in Dallas Crossing. I've always taken my vows seriously but something changed when I met you. When we're together I feel like I'm doing 80 down the highway with my lights off and I never want to stop. I know it isn't right and we both have a lot to lose but I need to be with you again. I hope you feel the same. That one. Let's Fuck. see. That's rough. This, this guy tried to push Marianne to get an abortion, even though she wanted to keep us. That's everything. What the hell? So, Marianne hid a box under the barn. A box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. He turned the whole place upside down and didn't take anything. All hey, he wanted freeze. was that box. And he was willing to burn down the barn to get rid of what was inside. You know what it all means, right? Yep. That guy had an affair with Mary Ann, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. Um, there's a, okay. I currently paused, so that's good. 
Um, I'm gonna raid off to Freeze, um, give him some hype and some love and all that fun stuff. And then I am gonna be done for today since we ended off at a save point. I don't have to try and keep going till the next save point. So that's good. Um, but yeah. Um, not exactly sure when I'm streaming again next. I mean, Thursday for sure. I'm just not sure if I'm streaming Wednesday again. Like, tomorrow. Um, trying to think here. If I am streaming tomorrow, I might just play a game and not this one. Like, play a different game. And that way, those who have been following along with the story can keep up with the story, I guess. And yeah, that's it for me today. Have fun, be safe, uh, don't do anything stupid, and give free some hype and some love and all that fun stuff. And I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Um. Oh, I forgot to start the countdown. My bad. But yeah. Um. Yeah. Bye bye.